day, PT? I just did. Unicom, Unicom, helicopter in, 975B, requesting clearance, over. Unicom, Unicom, this is helicopter in, 975B, Bravo, do you read me, over? Unicom, Unicom, this is helicopter in, 975B. Too bad I'm in a hurry. Where are the keys to that plane out there? Where are they? Hey, take it easy, Nick, she'll talk. You keep out of this. Where are the keys to that plane? They're in this drawer. Okay. There's just a dead silence. That's not like Janet. Looks like the monoplane's gone, too. Chuck, look. What's the matter, honey? Three, three convicts. They stole Jim's monoplane. They rough you up? I'll be all right. I tried to stop them. One of them shoved me into the closet. They're out of their minds. They're gonna wreck the plane. Suits me fine, long as they go with it. You don't understand. What do you mean? The plane hasn't been refueled. Can't stay up long. I'm Warden Horner. Glad to see you, Warden. We're just going to call the sheriff. Three prisoners just made a break. One of them had flying experience. Figures, this field just lost a plane. Your boys took off in it. Well, that's what I took Bobby Davis along with him. He was a flyer in the Korean War. Were you here when it happened? No, I wish I had been, though. I'd like to put my hands on the guy that mauled this girl. I'm sorry, miss. Which one was it? He was crippled. Nick Farrow. He slugged a guard, too. Farrow, what's he in for? Second degree murder. He killed a man in a brawl. What about the others? Winters, burglary, Bobby Davis, the kid, forgery, bad checks. Put out an APB on the missing plane. We'll ask the Sheriff's Department to send up their aerial detail. Warden. Yeah? You mind if we join the search? I mean, that ship doesn't have much gas in it. They can't get too far. We might be able to spot them for you. You got a radio on your machine? We're on 122.8 megacycles. What's your call number? N-975B. Well, Warden? Oh, go ahead. We'll try to keep contact with you. Oh, and Warden, can you get this girl to a doctor? You bet. Did they steal anything else? I don't know. I'll make a quick check at the office. With me. They ripped out our phone and our radio wires. Get going. to choke up. You're too rough on that girl. <laughs> You'd get over it. Well, now what's the matter? That gas gauge. What is it? We're almost dry. 
I told you this was a crazy stunt, Nick. 3,000 cons in that prison, and I gotta tie up with a kid and a coward. How much gas we got? More than a couple of gallons. Enough to get us to that abandoned airstrip you talked about? Not a chance. Anything around here? I don't know this country very well. Look below. You got any ideas? Yeah. I'm going back. Yeah. Let's go home. They won't be in the air much longer. We're only guessing they came north. Let's spring over west a little. The Sparrow couldn't land on that. I hope Janice sent in the insurance premium on Jim's crate. She didn't. She's going to have to collect from the prisoner's welfare fund. We're going to make it. You sure that gauge is right? There's your answer. We couldn't fly another mile. Fill it from that portable tank. Winners and me will check the office. There might be some dough around. Wait for the helicopter. You come back in about 30 minutes. Right. Feel right out that window. Done. Put his handcuffs on him. You can't get away with this, Nick. I'm going to try. What are you going to do with him, Nick? Take him with us. What else? You out of your mind? Open the door. Not that one. This one. Your first mistake was getting out. This will cinch a long stretch. Shove him in the plane. What are you doing, Nick? We're taking the warden with us. Insurance. The warden wants to stay healthy, don't you? Hey, you're going to line us up for the gas chamber. Nobody's moving in on us as long as we got the warden. Don't let him get away with it, Davis. You're just a kid. We're not going for it, Nick. Get him in the plane. You 
You're not pulling out now. Get in. Strip near Bishop? Right. How much further? About another 30 minutes. Comfortable, Warden? <laughs> Sergeant O'Neill, Chuck Martin, and P.T. Moore. Hi. Sergeant? Sandy Knox, he's a trustee. Overheard Bobby Davis and Nick Farrow talking about an old airstrip. Didn't think anything about it until he heard of the escape, he said. An old airstrip. It's not going to help us much. There must be dozens of those since the war. Is the warden in trouble, sir? He's the best friend I have here. Did he mention any specific cities or towns that might give us a clue? Yeah, there was one. It had a kind of a religious meaning to it. But my mind's a little fuzzy. I can't think of it. Religious? Like what? A church? A mission? I don't know. Okay, Sandy. Thanks. Just an idea. Thought you might be able to think of some place in the sticks. You fellas fly all over, don't you? Yeah, but this is a big state. No one's heard from the warden. I need to call unless it was impossible. I don't like it. He certainly got one rooter. Sandy, he's all right. But he's not the only one. The warden's got a lot of friends in here. Yeah. Well, let's check some more airstrips. It's better than just sitting around. I'll drive you back. Right. Get over there near those hills. There's a chance of being spotted. Just a question of time before they get you, Nick. Nobody's gonna get us, Warden. We're gonna take a look around. You can play Houdini with the cups. Your job. Take a look at those shacks over there. Get going. Let's look around.
the place is down there to hide. State police are probably checking every cow pasture. Well, there are plenty of them. <laughs> Janet? N975B. Can you hear me? Warden Horner to helicopter N975B. Can you hear me? Helicopter N975B to Warden Horner. We read you. N975B, we read you. Over. Might as well stay here for the night. Hey, let's get the warden out of the plane. Don't worry about the warden. I'm in this deep enough already. Well, forget it. As soon as Winters gets back with those clothes, I'll show you how to get a thousand miles away from here. That might not be far enough. Warden Horner to helicopter N975B. Can you hear me? Go ahead, warden. 75B to Warden Horner. Come in. They've got me handcuffed. We're on an airstrip somewhere in the west central part of the state. Can you hear me? We read you, warden. We read you. Can you give us a more definite location? West central part of the state. Cedar Grove. Lone Pine. Bishop. That's ah, another haystack. Bishop. Chuck, there's an old Air Force auxiliary field halfway between Bishop and Lone Pine. Bishop and Lone Pine. Bishop. That ties in with what little Sandy was talking about. Bishop. Something religious. That should be it. The only auxiliary in that neck of the woods. It's an isolated area. If we go in, we'll need help. Better call the state police. They can get there by the time we do. Helicopter N975B. Bravo. Pauling. This ain't safe anymore with that guy shooting off his mouth. We gotta get out of here, but fast. They'll never find us here. What's holding winners? Contact you and lead the way. We'll contact you and lead the way. Over. Even winners. Those shacks ain't that far from here. Oh, take it easy. He'll be here soon. I don't like it. What's that? It's a plane. We gotta get out of here. I'm not going to no hikes. We're not walking, we're flying. You out of your mind? There's not enough daylight left. I'm not making no night landings. Get up. Hey, we can't leave him here alone. This is wild country. Winners will take care of him when he gets here. Move! Thank you. 
We found you at all. I know it. Here comes the third member of your party. I don't want no trouble, Warden. Get someone to get me out of these. I got another customer for him. watching KDVR TV 31 Denver we're coming on strong